All right, for today's math assignment, we're going to be looking at page 333 and then 334, 6-8. We are going to be learning how to add up. So we're going to have a missing addend. I wrote the first equation on this board, and we're going to read the story that goes with it. It's number one, and you'll see why I wrote it this way. All right, number one, ready? Mr. Cruz has 750 yams to sell. He sells some and has 278 yams left. How many yams does he sell? Now, I bet some of you are thinking, well, if he had 750 and he has 700 or 278 left, you could, yep, subtract the total minus what he had left, and then you would figure out how many he sold. You could do it that way. We haven't really gone into subtracting from hundreds yet, but I'm sure you could figure out how to do this. Anyway, you can do it this way if you're more comfortable, but I'm gonna show you. I know that many of you like to add on to get to the total. So we're gonna practice that today and you can follow along with me if you like. 278 plus what gives you the next 10? Well, let's look closely at the tens. It's 78. So how many will you add to eight to get to 80? You're right, two. So we'll add two to 278 and we will get 280. Now we're up to 280. We still need to get up to 750. So next I'm gonna write 280 plus now what are we going to add? Yep, we're going to get to the next 100. So we're at a nice round number of 80. How many will we add to 80 to get to 300? How many would you add to 80 to get 100? You're right, 20. So we're going to add 20 to 280 and we get 300. Now we move 300 over here and we're working our way up. Now it gets easier. 300's a nice round number. What will we add to 300? And we can go all the way to 750 or if you'd rather, we can just stop at 700 first. What would you add to 300 to get to 700? Giving you time to think, three plus what is seven? You're right, four. So 300 plus 400 equals 700. And then finally, 700 plus, you got it, 50 equals 750. It's kind of like solving a puzzle. It's like counting back change. We start with pennies, then we go to dimes, then we go to dollars. You can do it that way. It's good practice for your mind, but I know some of you would rather just subtract like this, but you would have to remember how to ungroup because you can't take eight from zero. So we'll do that next. All right, so how do we add this up? We start with 400. 450, 470, 470, two is the answer. So 472 yams is the answer for number one. And I will take a picture of this and post this on Class Dojo for you to look at and see step by step what we did. And then you can continue to do it this way or you can subtract from the total. So let's do this. Can you take eight from zero? No, you can't because eight is bigger. So go next door, take away a 10, add 10 ones. 10 minus eight is two. Can you take four minus seven? Seven, take away from four, put four fingers up. Can you take seven away? No, you can't, so what do you do? You go next door, knock, 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 take a hundred away, add 10 tens. 
14 minus 7 is 7, and 6 minus 2 is 4. Look at that, 472, just like we got right there. So either way, you can solve those problems. All right, so you're going to continue on and do numbers 2 and 3 and 4. And then on the next page, you'll see there's one more story problem and then some review, adding and subtracting. All right, we'll see you next time.